Hello Aces, welcome back to the channel. And I want to give a big warm welcome to Brittany Griner, who has been released from the Russian prison over her nine year conviction for having a vape pen with CBD oil. And if you guys remember, I made an, an early video about this. Um, I said that I did believe that she was a political hostage and she has been released from the Russian prison. Joe Biden is continuously doing really good work as a president. He negotiated on her behalf with the release of Russian arms dealer, Victor Bout. So they did a swap and they literally did so in the airspace. I am so happy that she's home. I believe that, again, I feel like those charges were completely unjustified and excessive. There are a lot of people who are really upset at the fact that Brittany has come home because there is another American overseas. His name is Paul Whelan, and he was a Marine. However, let's put in perspective that Paul Whelan was accused of espionage, and his crimes are so much more severe than Britney's, right? So basically what Britney did, just to give you guys a really quick recap, she has been playing over in Russia for years. Like this was not the first time that she went over there. And the reason why she was playing overseas in the first place was because of the pay disparity between NBA and WNBA players here. So she was making a lot more money playing overseas. This last trip that she took, she brought over CBD oil in a vape pen, okay? Which CBD oil over here, and I'm sure in other westernized, industrialized countries is legal. Over in Russia, it's not. And so they charged her with a nine year sentence in a very harsh Russian prison and a labor camp, which is, I can't even imagine. They have really strict rules on homosexuality. As we know, Brittany is gay and her wife went to Joe Biden, who is seen here in this picture. And him and Kamala, Vice President Kamala Harris, you know, they went to work trying to bring Brittany home because I honestly, even though she is a top trained athlete, I don't know if she would have, I don't know if anybody black who is queer, who is American. I mean, I don't know if anybody could have survived nine years in a Russian labor camp, okay? So I am so glad that she is home. I'm glad that she's safe. My thoughts and prayers, of course, go out with Paul Whelan, and I hope that he can hang on and survive until you know, Joe Biden said he, <clears throat> he hasn't forgotten him, so he's going to try to work and bring him home as well. But again, his his charges are so much more severe. A lot of people in social media are, you know, upset that Britney was brought home so soon. They were, of course, being, I believe, being completely disingenuous because not only did they not know about Victor Bout the Russian arms dealer that was traded for Brittany, nor did they did they know or could care less about Paul Whelan, but they were just so upset that this black woman was brought home before um, this, this Marine who was dishon dishonorably discharged for, again, participating in acts of espionage. And with the arms dealer, yes, that is um, something to be 
a, a cautionary tale, right? But on the other hand, the U.S., <laughs> I mean, our military and our, you know, our budget, they just, and I mean, just added $885 billion more dollars to the military budget, which is already the the greatest in the entire world, okay? Our military budget exceeds every other country's by leaps and bounds. So there is no threat to the American military as far as the money is concerned. If anything, I mean, we have so much money in regards to our military, um, and I'm not sure why you know, uh, we, we keep giving the money to like Ukraine, we're funding other people's wars, but I really truly believe we should be focusing more so on our own citizens, right? Our veterans, our social programs, things like that. But again, to keep the, the point on Brittany, I'm really glad that she's home. I'm really glad that she did not have to do, you know, nine long, hard years in a Russian labor camp. I could only imagine the torture that she endured with, she was over there, I think it was like around like 294 days, I believe. So almost a year she was in Russia and she had to cut off her locks because of the harsh weather conditions and the temperature. So she had to cut her hair. And, you know, I don't want to think about just the, the torture that she went through, if not physical torture, which she, she, moved, she was moved to a labor camp. So I'm sure that, you know, she was tortured physically, but the mental, psychological torture, I can't imagine just her not knowing what her fate would be before she was brought home. So people can keep their commentary, you know, and they can keep the what what aboutism, you know, Tucker Carlson and, and Fox News, they're complaining about her brought her being brought home before Paul Whelan, but I had never even heard Paul Whelan's name mentioned before Brittany Griner's. So it's not about a what what about ism or, you know, this person's more worthy than that. No, I feel like they both need to come home. Brittany's charges were a lot less severe than Paul Whelan's. I hope that Joe Biden and Vice President Harris can work to bring him home. I hope that the exchange that we made with the arms dealer, Victor Bout, does not literally blow up in our face. I really... I am hopeful that, you know, Russia has their hands full with Ukraine anyway. Like they thought that they could take Ukraine. They're definitely not going to mess with us. But I don't know. I don't want to put the cart before the horse because Vladimir Putin, although it said that he's in poor health. Um, recently, there was news reports that he fell on the stairs and sold himself. So he's not in the best health. But he is still a dictator and he still has that mindset. So I don't put anything past him. But I will say that I am glad that Brittany is home. I really hope that they, the Victor Bout and the arms dealer that we traded him for act like they have some sense that they don't start it won't be it. <laughs> I'm sure that Joe Biden probably told him like, you know, we're gonna let this arms dealer go, but don't think because we're letting you go that you know that you can try it because if you nut the u.s is gonna buck <laughs> and they don't want that smoke especially since they're still at war with the ukraine and the ukraine is doing a really good job of of showing them that they underestimated them they're beating them in ways that russia hadn't planned on so i think that everything is going to be pretty chill from now moving forward. And then hopefully, you know, we can deal with bringing Paul Whelan and any other American, you know, home from Russia because 
that place is way too harsh. It's too severe. I don't even know how people can, you know, survive with not only the temperatures, but all the sanctions that the international community has put on them because they went to war with Russia. I can't imagine it. So this was a really good news report. Brittany is home. She is, you know, out of that torturous place. And let me know what you guys think. Again, this channel uplifts Black women. So um, I hope that you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.